Yo, what's good, bro? It's your boy C. Will Vlogs back at it again with another video. I know it's been a long time, but it's all good, man. I've been working on stuff. Working, period. You know, your boy just got married, man. So, you know, say y'all congratulations and all that. You know what I mean? Appreciate it. But yeah, man, I just been busy, y'all. Just been on the grind, man. So, sorry I haven't posted in a long time, but it is what it is. Uh, so, today's video just gonna be about me painting my brake calibers, you know. As y'all know, I have a V6, you know, and they don't come with the nice Brembo wheel or the nice Brembo uh, caliber joints and all that, you know what I mean? So, we just got the regular whatever one. So, with that being said, man, I'm gonna just show y'all how to prep them, how to paint them. You know, and that's it, man. So stay tuned. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and let's do it. But yeah, man, I already took my tire off and all that. You know, got my lug wrench right there. Got my plastic bag I used to wrap. What else we got, man? Got that duplicator caliber paint, you know. Just focus on that real good. You know what I mean? Brake dust resistant. Ideal for calibers, drums, and rotors. Up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, man. So got that also we got that acetone man this right here is what you're gonna use to clean your calibers before you actually start putting the paint on always want to clean your product first you know and i got this toothbrush you know what i mean just to clean up to finish up you know what I mean? so right now i have the tire off you know i already have acetone on the toothbrush so you just want to scrub as best as you can you know, it might not look like it's doing nothing, y'all, but they got all kind of dust from the caliber coming off. You know what I mean? So just do that real good. Do as much as you can. I already have this right here masked off because I don't want nothing on that. You know what I mean? I don't want nothing on that. So she's putting in that work, man. I already did uh, the other one. Let me show y'all. You know, I did this one back here. Let y'all see that red baby back there. You know, I did that one already. I did this one too, y'all, but it don't look right. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I'm gonna have to paint this right here too. This and all that. So just to make it look like the back. But yeah, man, stay tuned. So all y'all wanna do now, man, is just block off any other access that y'all don't want to paint. So as you can see, I already masked off this piece right here because I don't want to get that painted. So on my other one, on my driver's side wheel, I did the brake caliber. This right here is the caliber, right? And this right here is the pad. I didn't paint the pad on this side. So it looks crazy, man. Like it looks like, I don't know. I want this whole thing to be red, to be honest. Like, it's only paint. Like what is paint going to do to it? You know what I mean? Like I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. <laughs> see what I'm saying see how it looks so I'm gonna have to redo this one right here so this you know what I mean it look good don't get me wrong it's alright but I'm gonna have to come back and paint this whole thing so that's what I'm finna do on the other side I'm finna just paint the whole entire thing you know what I'm saying so oh All right, y'all, so now that y'all got y'all calibers and all that clean, you know, everything is good to go. Hey, get some of this bad boy right here and start to spray. So me, I just do two coats. I do one, like, medium heavy coat, the first coat, and then the second coat, I just do, like, you know, another heavier coat. You know what I mean? That's it. Some people do three to four coats. Like, they do one coat, wait 30 minutes, another coat, wait 30 minutes. Nah, I just do one coat. And then I do another heavy coat on top of that. So, hey, stay tuned, man. Let's do it. So you always want to be at least six inches away, man. Don't spray right here because then it's going to be one blob, you know. Come out here and just spray, man. So and when y'all spraying, man, just do even little sprays, man. You don't have to go one long spray. No, man. Just do it. See how I'm doing it? Just in repetition. Spray, 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 spray. Get the sides. You know I mean? Just make it even as you can, bro. That's it. Too easy. Make sure y'all get all the way around, too. All right, and that's it. That's it for the first coat, you know. 
it might look like I missed something, but I didn't, man. And even if I did miss something, you know, that's too easy. I'm going to just come back over and get it. So I'm going to just let this right here simmer down for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, put my fan on it, and then hey, we'll get started on that second coat, baby. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So my first coat is dry. So I'm going to just go ahead and start spraying on my second coat, man. So on this last coat, man, whether you want it heavy or whether you want it light, for me, knowing it's going to be my last coat, I'm going to make it kind of heavy. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to cover any anything black, anything that's not red. Hey, it's going to be red, goddamn. So shake him up. Let's do it. And like I said, the first coat, man, you just want to spray some little light sprays, man. Never overdo it. Never, you know what I mean, spray too much because then it's going to cause a drip effect, you know? And then if you see it dripping, it's going to dry up like that. So it's going to look bad. You know what I mean? So just continue to spray evenly all the way around, man. Even sprays all the way all around. All right. We're done with the second coat, man. So I'm going to let this dry for 15, 20 minutes. Show y'all. Well, y'all, this is how it looked. You know what I mean? Came out fantastic. You know what I'm saying? It looks really great. I'm glad with the ending result. It looked really smooth. You know what I mean? easy install i ain't trying to take my stuff to the shop and let them mess it up i rather work on my whip myself and just know if i mess it up it's on me you know what i mean i'm not trying to take my stuff to the shop and let it get messed up nah do it yourself man save you some money give you some experience man this could be your side hustle man you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna put the the wheel back on man see how it look as well but yeah man i'm very satisfied y'all Quick install, easy install, you know. Shit. All right, y'all. So the install is done. Got all my supplies right there, you know. I can get y'all a little start right quick, man. Bit finna growl. Watch this. Sheesh. Started up. Got the wife in that thing. You know, look a lot better. A lot, lot better, man. Oh. It was daytime, man. I'll show y'all in the light. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I mean, it look good, you know. Got a little little touch to it, you know what I mean? Good little touch, you know. Look good, sound good, feel good. Oh, yeah. Got this right here wrapped, too. You know, I'm going to do the hood next. Well, not the hood, my bad. The roof, I'm tripping. Do the roof next. Already did the hood, you know. So yeah, man, that's it. Like I said, y'all came out good. Painless install. But yeah, man, thank y'all for stopping in. Appreciate all the love y'all show. All that good stuff, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man. Thank y'all for coming. I'll holler at y'all in the next video, brother.